Afternoon guys, we're out today. We're down locally at the woods beside where I stay, just above the Haven Gorge. It's a nice wee quiet bit, this bit was developed a few years ago and then it stopped because they ran out of money. So it's great to come down here for a wee walk. It takes you down and right over the, the River Haven. So today we're going out for a wee wander, we'll go up and here a wee recce, see if there's any places up here where we can go for news for while camping in the coming months. So we'll bring you on through and I'll show you the way up and I'll catch you when we get up the top. You see where it's all been clear where the road's going to come down through and one local council done the road right down to here, built all the roundabouts and, and then it just stopped and the next local authorities used the money for something else and that was about 10 years, 15 years ago so everybody comes down here, it's a great place to come down and walk there's good wee tracks around about for the dogs and what have you so I'll take you up this way and it's a, I'll show you the bit up the top where we're talking about for the, the wild camp Bring up my bit. That's just coming up to the wee wood that we, we use for the, the camping. Four days to Christmas, so it's pretty quiet up here today. The only thing I've seen is a wee deer running through the trees earlier on when I was coming up the hill. It was just too far to catch on camera, so I don't know if we're quiet enough here. We, we might see some in the afternoon as we're going to set up. I've got the DD hammock with us today, so I'm going to get have a bash and put up the tarp and see how we got on with that. So once we get round here, I'll bring you back and see. A wee sneaky bit we go down. There's an area in here that they've used it before for the scouts. They use it down here to come down and practice some bushcraft. So there's a, a fire pit set up in the middle and there's a couple of wee seats. Well there was the last time I was up anyway so we'll see if they're still there. You can see they've been practicing a bit of fence work there with the willow. It's, it's blown down over, it's not been used for a long time. So we'll go out here and we'll have a bit of rake about, see what we can find, see if we can get a nice wee spot. This is absolutely perfect if you want to come to an overnighter. Because I've got the area all set up there and there's a wee bit in the middle for a fire, so there's no multiple fire pits kicking all over the place. You've got one centralised fire and to be fair everybody that comes up here has used the same one. So it's pretty good. I'm going to have a wee rake about and see what else is here in the woods and uh, I'll bring you back a bit. Cheers! Another fantastic spot here. There are loads and loads to choose from. I really can't be picking the best spot that I want. So I'll maybe just keep a wee bit further on. These ones are all really good. So I can pitch a tent up here. We get a hammock up here. Quite a lot. It's absolutely fantastic up here today. It's only four days to Christmas. There's not a soul to be seen. I've got the full place to myself. Everybody's out too busy running about the shopping centres getting their last minute Christmas shopping. I'm up here in the woods doing what I love to do and I found an absolutely perfect spot here. Looks as if that's a cracking two big trees there. I'll get the hammock between the two of them. I've got a cracking view. I'm at the top of a wee hill so if anything's running about me moving I'll be able to see it. You can just look down the hill there. There is a bit of a track for the local wildlife or the deer or badgers or whatever it is. So we'll get set up here. We'll bring you back in a wee minute. Right, this afternoon guys I'm going to try out. I've got my DD tarp 4x4. So we're going to put it up and sling it up between these two trees here. And once we get that up we'll, we'll get the, the hammock underneath it and see how we got on. So this is a good one, it'll be the first one I've used this in the earnest as well. So it's a 4x4, four four. my last one was a, I think it was a 35 by 2 or something like that. But this one's slightly bigger so it should give me much more coverage. So I'll open it up and get it set up and bring it back in a bit.
Uh, three bits of steaks there, we'll furnish up the, the tent pegs just to catch the back corner there and for to fold in the two doors at the back just to stop the wind coming through. So I'll crack on with these and out. And that saves. Ground's pretty soft here, so I don't need to go overly with that and making big heavy points. It's just enough to break the ground. And again, they're long enough, so I don't even need to put a notch in the top for the cords because they'll just fold it all the way around. So these ones I've already did there, so there's no problems with them, they've never moved, so they're perfect. Let's do it. Well, that's it finished, all set up. Now for to uh, spend a wee bit of quality time and just chill out for a while. I've been up here for a couple of hours doing various different bits and bobs, not seen a single person. Everybody's away too busy out shopping today, so I've got the, the forest to myself. So I'm just going to have a wee brew or a drink, I can't mind what I'm wanting to have in my bag, so I'll go and have a wee nose and I'll bring you back soon. better way to spend a Saturday afternoon. It's just out for a trial today, we're no staying over tonight, we've spent most of the afternoon here and most of the morning. I've had a really good explore run about here, it's absolutely perfect, so this is definitely going to be a location where we're going to be spending a, an overnighter. It's, it's great, there's absolutely no footpaths close by to this location where people can just wander in, so it's, it's going to be a good one. Um, there's plenty of trees for hammocks, there's plenty of open spaces just round about us here there if you want to put up maybe one, two, even three, possibly even four tents. So I'll definitely come back here again. So nothing better for it, it's just a Saturday afternoon, just chill out, get sucked up and snooze away. Chilling like a villain. This is definitely going forward this, well, for the remainder of this year, up through Christmas and New Year. I've got one more day at work to go on Monday, um, out there maybe till about one o'clock or something like that. And then get home, get everything prepped up for the family and for Christmas. We've got uh, visitors coming round on Christmas Day, and all the new family as well. So after that, Boxing Day, we've got plans again. And after that, we've got about nine or ten days where we can go out and play and couple of Monroe's earmarked, so I'm going to hope to maybe try and get one of them in between the Christmas and the year. I'm hoping to also do a wild camp up in the, the Lost Valley, so with a bit of luck there might be a possibility of snow, so could even get a snow camp up there. What else we're doing? We're going to be out on the mountain bike, so that will be coming up as well, so a lot more of the mountain biking next year. This last six months I've not done as much, I've had my back and I've stayed away from the bike just to give it a rest. But definitely come January I'll be back out on the mountain bike and I'm looking to do some camping along with that. So I'll be heading for a few bosses on routes and I'll take you guys along with me and show you where I'm going and what I've got up to. Um, but I definitely stay tuned to the channel and in this coming year there's going to be a lot of exciting stuff going on. We've got a few secret locations that we're going to go and meet up with the guys and a 
really enjoyed them. That's that's really been good fun. That's been one of the best things that's happened the last the last quarter of the year here is meeting up with a like minded bunch of guys that do the last the, the same silly things as what I got up to. Um, so I definitely next year there'll be mountain biking as I say, there'll be walking, there'll be camping, hiking. Uh, a bit of geocaching. I've not done much of that, so I'm going to be taking that back on and bring you guys along with me, show you that. That's really good fun. It's using the satellites to go and find hidden treasures throughout the forests and walkways wherever we are. Um, there's also a bit we'll go out in the kayaks. Uh, it's just an inflatable one, but it certainly gets you into the water and it's, it's again really exciting stuff. And one in particular I've got across uh, is uh, we'll do a bit of kayaking, we'll get a bit of walking, and then we'll do a bit of there's a one here we're going to Abseil down into a cave. So it's coming up in the first three or four months of next year. So as I say, stay tuned to the channel, you'll pick all these up. I'm just going to sit back here, read my book for half an hour, and then get packed up and head down the road. So again, as usual, if you like the channel, give us a thumbs up, please. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing. So just click on the button, subscribe, you'll get all the new videos as they come through. If you fancy, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, and if there's anything you want to see us getting up to, we'll do that as well. So, till the next time, catch you later, stay safe, be good.